There's no question that human activity is altering the biosphere in drastic ways, including driving many species to extinction through pollution, habitat destruction, and overhunting. This is true both on the land and in the sea, and this brings us to the topic of today's science news. Industrial fishing operations on both small and large scales are really important for the food security and the economic stability of countless coastal and riparian communities, but the ecological toll of this widespread fishing can be immense. Humans are very good fishers, and we've developed very powerful technologies to help us catch ridiculous, absurd amounts of fish, like sonar technology, and giant nets, and trawler boats. Unfortunately, some of these methods are a little too effective. They capture ridiculous numbers of the target fish, depleting their numbers and driving down the average size of the fish. Fish species all over the world have actually gotten smaller as a result of overfishing, as the largest fish are generally the first to get plucked out of the water, and the gene pool. Now that's pretty bad, but it doesn't end there. In addition to depleting the, the numbers of target fish, these modern fishing techniques also catch plenty of non-target creatures, also known as bycatch. Bycatch includes all manner of non-target fish species, like sharks, as well as squid and even the occasional turtles. Death via bycatch is a steady drain on these animal populations, depleting their numbers and their genetic diversity. It is extraordinarily harmful to these marine ecosystems. Now all of this may sound pretty bleak, and let's be real, it is. But there's good news. Some new research has developed an effective, affordable technology that shows really strong promise at dealing with this bycatch issue. In fact, it's so effective and so promising that I'm kind of suspicious that there has to be a catch somewhere, no pun intended. But it honestly seems like a genuinely useful innovation. Let me read you some select passages from the abstract of the paper documenting uh, this technology, you know, analyzing its first uses out in the field, so we can put everything on the table. Quote, As intricately linked social ecological systems, small-scale fisheries require management approaches that help ensure both ecological and socioeconomic sustainability. Given their ease of use and lucrative nature, coastal gillnet fisheries are globally ubiquitous. However, these fisheries often result in high discarded capture of non-target organisms bycatch that can lead to significant cascading effects throughout trophic chains and costly fisheries restrictions that result in important revenue losses in coastal communities with scarce economic alternatives. Despite these challenges, few solutions have been developed and broadly adopted to decrease bycatch in coastal gillnet fisheries, particularly in developing nations." Alright, so this is basically what I've been describing already. The authors are introducing a series of problems, including the ubiquity and over-effectiveness of fishing, the ever-present problem of bycatch, and the general lack of solutions for these problems. Okay, now this next passage is where it gets really good. Quote, Here we used controlled experiments along Mexico's Baja California Peninsula to show that illuminating gill nets with green LED lights, an emerging technology originally developed to mitigate sea turtle bycatch, significantly reduced mean rates of total discarded bycatch biomass by 63%, which included significant decreases in Elasmo branch, 95%, Humboldt squid, 81%, and unwanted finfish, 48%. Unquote. Okay, so let me repeat that, because these stats are incredible. By adding a series of green LED lights to the nets, which are cheap to buy and cheap to use and relatively easy to install, shark, squid, and other fin fish appear to be discouraged or thrown off by the green lights, and they're much less likely to become caught up in the net as bycatch. This simple, affordable solution can be a huge leap forward in harm reduction in the fishing industry, which would be a massive reprieve for the embattled marine ecosystems. Now, one important detail that I want to take note of is that other unwanted fin fish were much less likely to avoid becoming bycatch thanks to the green LED lights than sharks or squid. This means that many species of fin fish aren't as effectively deterred by the lights as 
sharks or squid, or sea turtles for that matter. Now this isn't great, but there's a silver lining. Many of these unwanted fin fish are similar to the target fish, which don't appear to be significantly repelled by the lights. The authors point out that target fish catch and the economic value produced by the fishermen was not negatively impacted by the lights at all. As icing on the cake, the authors also noticed that the illuminated nets were easier for fishermen to collect from the sea and disentangle. So the illumination helped not just the fish, but also the humans using the nets. This improved the speed and the efficiency of the fishing operations, which only means that there's more financial incentive for the fishers to install these LED lights. This is such cool stuff. This is the kind of practical solution that I think is super important to share with the world. Sure, it would be great if the global population suddenly stopped buying fish, and the fishing industry collapsed, and marine ecosystems came roaring back to life with renewed abundance and biodiversity, but that's obviously an idealistic pipe dream. It's pretty unlikely. You know, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna expect that to happen in, in any realistic sense. In the meantime, we do need practical, realistic solutions like this that are not only effective at harm reduction, in this case by reducing bycatch, but also have the financial incentives lined up properly so that the widespread adoption of the technology is not just feasible, but financially incentivized. And when you consider the sheer ubiquity of fishing operations around the world, the widespread adoption of a solution like LED lighting on nets could have immensely positive outcomes for marine ecosystems and aquatic biodiversity across the world. Give me more of this stuff, man. This is great. Oh.